Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. We plan to have a review of Balatunubu's uh, engagement in the United Kingdom, specifically at the Chatham House. Have joining me on the program from London is uh, one of the uh, key members of uh, Mr. Tinubu's uh, inner circle team that went with him to London, Mr. Delia Lake, a former commissioner for information and a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. He joins me via telephone. Thank you so much, Mr. Lake, for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Um, let me, first and foremost, uh, uh, this is a telephone conversation, so uh, we may not have as much of the time that we should naturally have. I understand that you were en route, you are, uh, you are uh, in the vehicle going for another event, and so you're not able to st stabilize and have this interview. But l let's get the conversation going. First and foremost, how would you describe uh, the performance, uh, the appearance, and the engagement of Mr. Tunubu uh, in London at the Chatham to, uh, House today. Oh, thank you, for having me. I think uh, it's uh, the, the engagement of Ashwaju today at the Chatham House has been superlative. It's been fantastic. It's been actually invigorating. It's been inviting. It's been reverting. It's been arresting. It's proved all the naysayers. It's disproved all the naysayers. All the natural nabobs of negativism. All those who never, never do well. All those who left issues, main issues concerning Nigeria, and focused on character assassination, on all kinds of irrelevances, inanities, they've been disproved and they've fallen flat. Ashiwaju has been applauded, commended by all and sundry. All the reviews that we've gotten so far have been very, very positive. I think, in fact, People are saying that, oh, they never knew that he was this articulate, he was this erudite, he was this terrible, he was this fantastic in terms of expressing delivery and all that. It was flawless. It was faultless. Mm. It was just an assailable shame. Oh, wow. Uh, so, I mean, then, because I know you probably have been following the responses because people were able to join uh, online uh, real time to watch that engagement or perhaps you or you're getting some responses already um first and foremost the first round of questions thrown at mr dunobu he had to delegate people to answer for him a lot of criticism from your critics have come to what well, can we vote for a president who delegates to for people to speak with him when the nation needs to hear directly from him uh, again so that's that's one of the uh, innovations of uh, Ashiwaju Tinumbu. Don't forget that one of his uh, main solid strengths has been the identifying talents and head hunting of the highest order. And anybody who has his head properly screwed on his neck will know that Ashiwaju is the Primus inter pares in terms of team building. And that's what he sought to show, to display. Team building. Now, everybody acknowledges his talent in, in showcasing professionals, technocrats, experts in various fields. And let me, those who are saying what you have just said are ignorant of the nuance and the dynamics of leadership. Leadership is not a one man show. Successive leadership or su successful leadership is one based on a solid, a team that is professional, that is highly skilled, that is with management, all manners of um, skills that you require to move a society. Ashiwaju has been noted to be an advocate of that, and that's what he displayed. And in any case, Sheo, if you watch it, apart from delegating, he also answered questions personally and directly. And then he wanted to show the kind, the caliber of his team 
And that's what he did at the Eco Hotel Town Hall meeting as well. In fact, that style is being copied by some of his opponents, but they can't get the traction because they don't have a solid team like he has. I mean, let's let's give it to him. Now there is no the Chatham House thing is not also etched in stone. The concept is for you to come and showcase your plans and programs. Nobody said, oh, it's only you that must speak. And in any case, has any president or any head of state, commander-in-chief anywhere, ruled alone? When he's not a dictator? Mm. No, so, yeah, so, if you, oh, so, Mr. Alake, you, you know, the, the cover, election, yeah, the argument, the argument in that direction is whether or not when the time comes for the nation to hear from the chief executive and the commander-in-chief whether or not they will find Mr. Tinubu, if elected president, to be able to speak directly to Nigerians and not ask uh, his subordinates or those. So that view is misplaced. Don't forget that the man spoke directly for 28 minutes nonstop at the Chatham House. So what else are you saying? When he delivered his address, he delivered it alone. Nobody helped him to deliver the address. So after the address, the question and answer is even a very small part of the entire engagement. Hmm. It was a small part of it. And then he sought to display the dexterity of his team, which is also an important ingredient in successful leadership. People must get their priorities right. When you you want you want you want you want a good leader, and one of the factors of good leadership is the ability and capacity to assemble a strong team, a team that is knowledgeable, that is visionary, that has courage, and that's what the man has done. And in any case, if you want the man to speak with you, he has, he has already delivered his address without interruption, without assistance from anybody. From Mr. anywhere. So what is this? Just this is this a ranting. Mr. Mr. Lake, of, uh, yeah, yeah. Position. And, and you, you will hear more of that in the coming days because you know this is politics. It doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. whether we hear more of it or no, no, not. Uh, don't make them right. Yeah, but you know because make some, them right. some of these come and it's good that you're responding to them and that's democracy. People yeah. will speak, then you have opportunity <laughs> to uh, to respond. And that's the beauty of things, isn't it? Um, perhaps you, you might be able to clear the air also about some of the appearances of uh, uh, your, your uh, principal at some campaign at a podium, uh, some uh, that have been referenced as mistakes and some have been seen as gaffes on the, on the podium when he's speaking uh, at some, uh, and your opposition uh, had already spoken about it. They said, look, how can we trust him not to be making those kind of gaffes when he becomes president? Ah, Shew, again, I will tell you that you are only, uh, I mean, you not as an individual, but the media, you know, are only pandering to the whims of the opposition, to the whims of those who leave germane critical issues concerning the livelihood of Nigerians to be saying, oh, this man has a, he committed a gap. Shew, why are you... Just a few days ago, Baghdadi Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of Labour Party, committed a great gaffe. You are aware of it. I have not seen your, your station or the media generally feasting on it as they will feast on the Ashiwaju, who is a human being like anybody. Even the, there is a video making the rounds now of the spokesperson of Labour Party in Anambra State making a whole lot of unpardonable gaffes, referring to LP as one of the worst, the Labour Party as one of the worst things that has ever happened to Nigeria. And then, sorry, oh, sorry, 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 I mean APC. That's a gaffe. I haven't seen the media making a fist of it. If it is actually you that committed something minute, then you propagate it, you adumbrate it, you fist it to high heavens. That is what is happening, Sheon. Every article committed a gaffe in Kaduna when he said they, they, they should vote for him because he's a northerner. 
I didn't see any one of the any any media or the critical media making a mountain out of such. And that's a real mountain which speaks to the unity of Nigeria. It be very critical to the to, to the uh, oneness and existence of Nigeria. No, if it was Tinubu that made that, oh, heavens would have come down. So it is really nothing that to, to, nothing to clear about. Mm, okay. This, yeah. uh, any gaps now? Uh, uh, Obi has committed the gap. In fact, Obi is noted for false statistics. Anybody knows that, but the, the critical media will not pick that up. Because it does not suit their narrative, except to Sashiwaju. Mm. So there's really nothing to clear about there. Mm. Sashiwaju right. is a human being, yeah. like any other person. Of course, even you, Sheo, even me, I am not immune to gas uh, now and then. That does not translate to one's capacity mm. to rule. No, you are a human being. Mm. And in any case, like we've always said, no president should even rule alone. And even the constitution did not say or, or allow a president to rule alone. You must have a team. So whether I have to run one of the greatest American presidents, Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt, ruled on a wheelchair. And he was he went for the third time. M Mr. Lucky, which was rare man. in the history. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. let so, don't let us uh, don't let us give vent to some of these irrelevances. Let's stick to the issues yeah. of security, of economy, of agriculture, which, of employment, yeah. of things that are just yeah. being to, which, to, to, which, to the existence yeah, of, which I, of our country. Which I think was a uh, part of the I mean the main uh, the meat of the conversation at the Chatham House today, and which, of course, uh, we are hoping that we might be able to engage uh, the candidates uh, more and more as we go into the election in February. By the way, uh, Mr. Lake, like yeah, but the point is the, that the, the, the opposition media are always delving on irrelevant issues. No, no, Mr. Mr. Lake, I, I wanted to ask. By the way, uh, is yeah. there any? I mean, would is there any plan by your team to? Uh, plan uh, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, by with your candidate with any of the major uh, mainstream media organizations before the election. Oh yes. oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The plan is the plan is afoot. Oh yes, definitely. Okay, we'll be... uh, anyway, uh, yes, yes, that that will be done. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, let me explain something, Shil, and let me let me bu bust the bubble of those who. Uh, 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 arrogantly and prudently arrogate some excessive sense of self-importance to themselves, especially a section of the media, thinking that they, they are the only channel that anybody, any aspiring leader can use to reach Nigerians. Oh, that is not true. But it is, I am part of the media, and I can tell you for Update this myth to ourselves. No, there are so many channels that any leader can use to reach Nigerians. One of which Ashiwaju has even been exploiting to maximum advantage. And that is the town hall meetings. It's had several, it's had in Lagos, it's had in Nasarawa, it's had in Mina, it's had in Nimo, it's had in Kombe, it's had all over the place. And that's how to reach Nigerians. And who says that it is only through a particular TV station that you can reach Nigerians when you are even on the TV station and some people in the rural areas don't have access to it? And those are the voters. Does that rule out? Does that rule out the fact that? If you do a content that, analysis, yeah. does if that, you do a content analysis of this of this uh, exaggerated sense of self-importance by section of the media, you fall flat. Does, does that rule out? Does that rule out the fact that uh, Mr. Exactly. Tinubu may not be participating in any presidential debate before the elections? That that look that has enough to do with what. Your question is, is he going to be uh, engaging uh, some, uh, uh, with some journalists or one-on-one -on -one and all of that? And I said, yes. In fact, just a while ago, I did tell you, he engaged one of your reporters. In fact, the, your correspondent, China's, China's correspondent in London here. And I was there with him. She engaged him one-on-one. -on -one. 
and I'm sure you get the report. Mm, fantastic. So he does all, not mean that yeah. he has to go to a particular station mm. that everybody knows because is you're, adept at blackmailing. No, we don't succumb to blackmail. You know, I, I, I think one of one of the issues that also came up was uh, the response of Ashwaju at the Chatham House when he made response, the response uh, the, uh, to the question that was raised that um, because he's a sellable, a marketable candidate, uh, he's, I mean, he doesn't want anybody to make money off him. And one will wonder that, look... We are referring to, he was referring to a particular blackmailing station, media house. Not, not everybody, no. All right. So no. uh, be, be, yeah. be, before I go, Mr. Laka, because I know how, uh, how much of time it took me to be able to get you to speak with us, because I know that you told me that you had an engagement um, uh, that you were yes, going for. I, I, I came out of the engagement thank, right now thank, to thank you, so, you. thank you so much for that. But finally, Mr. Right. Laka, you are my very good friend. I mean, someone who I've, I've I mean, met on the job. But, I mean, you made reference to uh, a story that was reported by another television station, which was not reported by China's television. I guess that was a mistake of uh, you thinking that it was reported by everybody. It wasn't reported by China's television. But I think in life, we make mistakes, and it's uh, men of integrity also would up pull those back to say, look, we made a mistake. We thought you did, but you did not. No, 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 no. I never said uh, uh, China's carried that particular story. No. What I did say was that China's also pandered to all the negative things about uh, Ashiwaju, I mean, all the allegations that were inanities, allegations that were as old as 30 years that had been dealt with before. I expected any reputable and deep media house to be able to do a throwback, a background check, and know that this, these allegations had been done away with 30, 20 something years ago. So if any opposition party should bring them up for propaganda effect, it is not a serious news, I mean, news medium that should help in propagating such. That was my view, yeah. and I stand by M that view. Mr. Mr. Daniel Laki, I must sincerely thank you. But you know, when you were an editor those days, you were notable for being a very, very, uh, in fact, some, some, some people refer to you as a very stubborn editor at the time. But you know, the, the, the nature of the media is, it is, I mean, you can't run away. The media is the mirror of the society. You cannot run away from your own shadow. We report what is in the society. But thank you so much indeed, Mr. Lake, for your time tonight. I appreciate it.